Okay, Dave Rubin is going to make a, a really insane claim uh, that was made, uh, uh, I don't know which time it was he was on the Rubin, or not the Rubin Report, sorry, <laughs> the Joe Rogan podcast. I don't remember when it was, but you guys are going to be seeing a short clip here because I uh, can't use that much of their footage, but he's going to be making the claim that Trump doesn't care about abortion or gay rights. Check it out really cares about abortion he doesn't care about abortion he doesn't care about gay rights like think about it he gave the the at the rnc at the convention he talked about gay rights it got an applause break he brought peter Thiel up there to talk about being openly gay and they loved him yeah so this is hilarious because this is something that people like some of the skeptics were saying like uh for example shuan had said this too and i made a video you know laughing at her basically because of all the different things that the Trump administration was doing. You know, the Trump administration was briefing the Supreme Court, of a, you know, in defense of, uh, you know, of uh, the cake shop and different things like that. And we have the transgender banned from the military and, you know, Title IX uh, being taken away and protections for, you know, gay people. And so all these different things that were happening. And so it's very obvious that that, you know, just didn't pan out. It wasn't true. But... When he, when he, it's hilarious because the thing that he was, he was, he was actually referencing had nothing to do with, you know, gay rights or transgender rights in the United States. All he was saying was, is I'll protect them against people who are, you know, terrorists and stuff like that from out of, out of the country, you know? So there's not really any, uh, actual talk about what he would do in terms of, you know, gay rights or, you know, LGBT rights in the United States. He just said that. He'll protect them from, you know, terrorists, which is, I don't know, sort of a, I mean, it's fine, comment, whatever, but it's sort of weird when you talk about context because you're not really talking about what he's doing, going to do about gay rights or anything like that in America. But now we have, of course, which is the biggest thing, right? You know, Donald Trump is now, he has, uh, he has nominated Brett Kavanaugh, who is someone who is uh, for the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Now, what's going to happen if you overturn Roe v. Wade? If you overturn Roe v. Wade, it's actually not going to make... I think some people are under the impression it's going to make abortion banned everywhere. That's not true. What Roe v. Wade would do is, what's going to happen as soon as that's overturned, as soon as it's overturned, a bunch of conservative and red, red-leaning states are just going to outright ban abortion. That's what they're going to do. They're going to come out and just completely ban abortion. But... A bunch of them would have it legal. Like California is probably going to have it legal. All your left-leaning states are going to have it legal. So clearly, you know, with with the nomination of Brett Kavanaugh, it's clear that he did care about abortion. And also, it's sort of uh, uh even at the time, right? Even at the time of him saying that, it's pretty it's a pretty shitty claim because uh he chose Mike Pence as his vice president. We know Mike Pence is a not only is a massive he's a massive homophobe, but he also is an evolution denier. So he's a fucking, he's just an insane guy. And we had the, uh, there was a story where like Trump joked about Mike Pence wanting to hang all gays and stuff like that. It's insane. It's insane. So the idea that Trump is some kind of, oh, well, he didn't care about any of that stuff, you know? Like, no, he chose Mike Pence as vice president. And now we have a Supreme Court nominee who's going to overturn Roe v. Wade.